Welcome back to the news. Thank you all for joining me again this week where we have quite a few things. We're going to be talking about fairly uh, fairly significant news week, if you will. Uh, starting with a uh, fairly small announcement that uh, Toonami has expanded its block to five and a half hours from five hours, which is nice seeing more anime on Western shores. The new schedule is uh, one hour of Dragon Ball, uh, Jojo, Tokyo Ghoul, Hunter Hunter, Lupin the Third, Naruto Shippuden, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, yes, and Attack on Titan Season 2. So, more anime on Toonami, not a bad thing, certainly. Uh, moving on to uh, uh, kind of a surprise announcement, a new chapter of Revolutionary Girl Utena will be released this winter in Japan in the magazine Flowers. Um, well, the magazine Flowers will reveal more information. Not sure exactly where it's going to end up in terms of what magazine it'll show up in. Presumably Flowers. This is uh, not the first new chapter in a very long time. There was a uh, new chapter, basically uh, Utna After the Revolution, which ran in September uh, of last year. So, um, that's kind of interesting to see what's uh, uh, why they're bringing out more chapters of Utna, which is again a, a well-known, well-respected, um, not quite magical girl, but kind of magical girl series. Um, definitely a shoujo story of epic proportions. But more Utna manga coming, so maybe there's more anime. Who knows? Maybe hard hard to tell. Uh, moving on to some sad news, the passing of Shuichi Masuo, who worked at uh, Gainax and other people, uh, other places. He got to start working on uh, Go Shogun, a mecha series at Studio Giants, then was an assistant animation director on the Macross movie, Do You Remember Love, then uh, moved on to Gainax after some work on Project Eiko, where Guy Nax, he worked on Honey Mise, Gunbuster, Talking No Video, Nadia, Evangelion, His Inner Circumstances, Gunbuster 2, um, as well as work outside of Guy Nax on Giant Robo and Akira. So, quite the, uh, quite the resume there. Also did mecha designs for uh, Tylor, and uh, directed a few anime as well, including uh, Submarine 707R, uh, Crimson Wolf, Demon Bane. So, uh, passing of Masuo, um, definitely sad. He was 57 years old. Uh, moving on to some licensing news. Made in Japan has announced they have licensed Two Heart 2, which is the, uh, the series to Two Heart, a very, very popular, one of the most popular visual novels of its day. And Two Heart 2 was definitely a success as well. Um, so there was a anime adaptation of that made um, in 2005, which to give you an idea, this anime of Two Heart 2 got four sequels, four OVA sequels. This is, you know, this, this is a pretty big thing uh, back then. So here's hoping we get uh, more of that kind of stuff moving on. Um, Announcement also out of Square Enix of an upcoming project called Dia Horizon. It is going to be a multimedia project uh, that will include a television anime series that will premiere in October. So coming up pretty soon, there is a trailer that's just images sort of fading in and out, you know, not really any information there, and then some voiceover of character saying, for example, What is beyond the farthest horizon? The final sea? Death, hope, freedom, the girl who carried the furthest secret by birth, that kind of stuff, right? So it's all just kind of general blah, blah, blah. But it is coming, and it's coming pretty quickly. I mean, October's only three months away, and uh, more de details will be coming, obviously. Um, the CEO of Square Enix, Yosuke Matsuda, has described it as a new experiment and ambitious. The... Art for the official poster art looks like it's done by the guy who did the uh, artwork for Fractal. So I will be very curious to see where that's that's going. Um, also, um, news on the upcoming next Nanoha film. Uh, there was a... Uh, the next Nanoha film is called Magical Girl, Girl Lyrical Nanoha Detonation. 
coming out in 2018. That's all we know. Uh, we have a few images from it. There's a uh, Nanoha and this these cool sort of purple glowy armor things. The first film uh, aired this actually like just this past week in Japan called Nanoha Reflection did not do well. It, it premiered at number eight on the, the listings. Now, obviously, you know, anime films like this very rarely premiere like in the top three or anything, but uh, it, it didn't even crack a million dollars, to give you an idea. Um, and also, films in Japan just generally don't make a lot of money, but it was not a massive showing, from what I can tell. So hopefully, we will be able to uh, uh, see and hear more about the uh, Nanoha film. Uh, finally, and unfortunately, I don't have a lower third for this, but uh, news of a new, um, sorry, uh, new anime project for Konosuba, which is, uh, so it's had two seasons already, and, whoops, whoops, transition away from that, so that's not up. Anyway, um, we don't know what this is, actually. The voice actors just announced on a radio program that there is a new anime project in the work around Konosuba. OVA, ONA, TV series, don't know, but hopefully it's coming soon, and more details, obviously, coming up eventually. So that's all the news for this week. Thank you all for joining me. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.